In this video, I want to talk about one simple principle that so many men get wrong when learning to banter, when learning rapport, it affects everything. And if you can change this one simple thing, you can have so much more powerful and effective communication with beautiful women, with, with life, with yourself. And so let's dive right on in. What is this one simple principle? I've talked about it before, but I think I want to talk about it in a slightly different way today. This principle is, and really listen for a little bit here to kind of pay with this, because in the first it's going to sound a little abstract maybe, but then it's going to get deeper really quick. It's wanting. You see, if you're wanting, desiring, chasing, or craving a beautiful woman, and you're going out to talk, and you're, and you're going out to flirt, and you're going out to do some banter, hey dork, what's up? And you're going out to play, but you're constantly leaning in and wanting because you want her so bad it hurts. I'm gonna say that again, you want her so bad it hurts, it's causing you pain, like oh, I need to get a date, I need to get a girl, I need to get sex, I need to get validated, then that's gonna push her away. It's gonna push her away 100% of the time. I don't care how much you practice banter, I don't care how much you practice your rapport, whatever you're working on, you're getting deeper, it's going to screw up the interaction. Remember, I did a video a while back on letting all women go. And it's, that video was a huge success, letting all women go, because of this simple idea. When you let them all go, all that wanting stops. You see, we spend years of our lives as men going out wanting, wanting, wanting. We want beautiful women, we want sex, we want this. And after a while, we get burned out on all the wanting, all the chasing. Oh, look at her, she's so sexy. I could never get a girl like her. Or look at that girl, she's, she just, you know, I used to date her, but she rejected me. She didn't find me attractive enough. And it just hurts deep down inside. So when you let all women go and learn to have fun for yourself and learn to relax and learn to enjoy your life, there's a sense of energy that returns to your body. You feel alive again. And then when you go talk to women and the wanting is not there, you're so much more interesting because now you can just enjoy them. And if they reject you, it's no big deal. So here's the key to getting past the wanting. It's not really getting past the wanting. You don't need to get rid of all the wanting. You need to learn to enjoy the wanting. Because if you're trying to get her as a way to get rid of the wanting because it hurts, because you feel like you're not good enough, then yeah, it's going to hurt. There's going to be a sense that I, I, I want you so bad because I need you to validate me. And when you get past that and you begin to enjoy wanting and you begin to see it as this subtle tension between you and her, yeah, I want you. You know what? And if you reject me, I can handle it. I'm a man. But you know what? I want you. You're fucking sexy. Matter of fact, I like the want. I want to increase the want. Matter of fact, I'm going to play with the want because when the want resolves itself, we're going to have such a good time together when we're in bed, when we're, when we're on top of each other. And that's a different animal. You see, when you let all women go and you practice this energy of letting go of wanting, and then you start coming back with playful ones and playful desires, you know, you're fucking sexy. And it comes from almost a place of choice rather than want. That's when everything changes. So I want you to think about it this way. Think about how to shift your wanting from something that you have to have, I need to have, to something I choose. I choose my wanting. I'm going to play with my wanting. And I had a really good friend who was really good with women. And he did not like sleeping with a woman the night he met her. Matter of fact, he hated that. And I think this is part of his unconscious success with women. You see, he would go out and he would flirt with girls and he wanted to extend it out and extend it out and create so much tension from the wanting that when they had sex, it was fucking amazing. So if he met a girl at a bar and she started to flirt with him and she started to have fun with him and she started to move things forward towards, towards wanting to go home with him, he would create all kinds of roadblocks to make it take longer on purpose. He says, I hate sleeping with a girl the first night. It's never the best sex we can have. But if I can extend it out in his mind, this is how he thought, if I can extend it out over two or three day, uh, nights, like I meet her again and, oh, I can't be with you, baby. It's not working. Oh, I so want to be with you. And I can keep playing with that energy. He's now increasing her want. He's increasing her want and he's pulling back and he's switching that polarity. And then when they finally have sex, it's fucking amazing. Because see, women don't get to get into this space of wanting the man enough. They often feel like, especially if they're really hot, they can get most guys. But when this guy's creating obstacles and pulling back and he's enjoying the one and he doesn't need to have sex with her to feel good about himself. I'm going to say that again. He doesn't need to have sex with her to feel good about himself. He's not running home to sleep with her so he feels good about himself so he gets another notch on the bed post. He doesn't care about that. Then that gives him the power. That gives him a lot more power for like, if, you, if I don't end up having sex with her, fine. 
But if I do have sex with her, great. Either way, I'm happy. And that's what my video, Letting All Women Go, and let and this, and this follow-up to that, Letting All Women Go and Practice, was all about. So I want to encourage you to start letting go of wanting, and not even really letting go. Let it go for a little bit and then say, can I play with enjoying want? Can I relax into my body, relax into my spine, look at a woman and enjoy the part of me that wants her, and then at the same time, constantly letting go of the need to have her. You're letting go of need so you can enjoy the tension between you and her, the polarity. And if you can start to master that skill, and especially in communication itself while you're talking to her, the communication is only going to get so much more powerful. It's going to go from, oh my God, hi, uh, what's your name? Oh, damn, you're sexy. Where there's this lean in energy. There's something so sexy about you. I, you know, we should go out sometime. We, we should totally hang out. There's a little pull on that too. You'll be in your spine more and you'll be like feeling your body open and, and you'll be enjoying her and you're pulling the energy back a little bit, letting her energy come to you. There's a sense that you're creating like a conduit. I talk about that in my book. And you're, you're letting her energy come to you and you're like, damn, you're sexy. Look at you. Oh my God. Oh God. You know, I wish we could be together, but I, I don't think it's going to work tonight. You know, I, I just, yeah, it's too bad. Oh, well, maybe someday. Maybe, maybe we'll, you know, maybe we can go out someday. You know, and there's a sense of, of your like, yeah, I don't know maybe and you're undecided and you're just enjoying her right here right now and you're and, you, and there's no sense of hurry or push and there's a sense and she can truly get it that if you don't get her there'll be another woman for you anyways or you'll be just fine or you're gonna be happy either way that's when you become super sexy okay so i really wanted to present this idea of wanting i really want you to think about it it's an actual, think about it this way. It's proactive wanting versus reactive wanting. Proactive wanting versus reactive wanting. And if you want to learn more about this, definitely check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction, which is right behind me over my shoulder here. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere in this video for that. Um, also, I want to encourage you, if you haven't watched the video, Letting All Women Go, definitely watch that. There'll be a link in this video for that too. Uh, that's a powerful video. It did really well. It really resonates with guys. I've had guys send me messages telling me it made them cry. And then I did Letting All Women Go and Practice as a sequel to that. You can look that one up later after you watch the first one. And I think it will really help to bring this topic home. Uh, at a deeper level. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you, you're getting these principles. These are very important principles. They're so powerful with attraction energy, especially, which uh, really can amplify your game. So with that said, uh, make sure to like, if you haven't liked the video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of this powerful content that is gonna help change your life. Um, I, I don't want you to miss any now. Make sure to put a comment in the video. I watch, I read these comments within a week of these videos coming out. I go through them a lot. So if you want a message to me, I'll be, I'll be seeing those comments. Uh, then I have landed looking at them usually after that. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.